Hello friends, uh, most welcome to English Advantage Online Classes. Uh, friends, in this video, I will be explaining to you uh, the most important vocabulary uh, for your next forthcoming exam like uh, IBPS Bank PO, IBPS Clerk and SSC CGL exam. So this vocabulary I have taken uh, from the last year questions paper and only the most important and most repeating uh, vocabulary I have included in this video tutorial. Uh, this video tutorial I am recording for the English medium student who want to watch this video uh, in the English language. Hindi uh, medium student can watch uh, the Hindi version of this video in the Hindi playlist. So let us get started with this uh, video. Uh, the first word that I have included here is recent or you can pronounce it recent. So recent uh, simply means uh, to cancel something. If you, if you have uh, enforced something and if you want to take it back or if you want to withdraw it, then uh, this word uh, will be used recent. Uh, the corresponding synonym for this uh, this word uh, are revoke, repeal, abrogate is a very common word, very important word for an exam, abrogate. And uh, the similar sounding word is annul. Annul is also very important. Overturn, overrule and override. Overturn, overrule and override. And annul, this is also very common in competitive exams. And uh, now let us look at some other synonym for this word recent. Nullify to make it null and void. Okay, to make void, invalidate, render invalid, abolish. Uh, this word is normally used for uh, eradicating traditions. Okay, like uh, Raja Ram Mohan Rai uh, abolished uh, Sati Pratha. Countermand. This is very important. Countermand or rescind or cancel or retract. So these are the many words I have included here, and all of them are very very important. Revoke, cancel or repeal a law order or agreement so this is the meaning of this word these are the synonyms revoke repeal abrogate overturn overrule override annul these are the very important word countermand render invalid and make something null and void no longer in force okay uh, now the corresponding antonym for this word recent will be approve enact enforce establish sanction validate and uphold uphold means to maintain something and the second form and the third form of this uh, word will be upheld upheld and upheld validate sanction establish enforce enact and approve and uh, there is one more word uh, which is used for sanction and uh, that is ratify or the noun form of this word will be ratification means to sanction something okay now let us look at the example sentence uh, just to cl cl clarify the things. Uh, he promised to oppose or if elected rescind the new mining tax proposed by the previous government. Okay, so this is the example sentence and this is one more example sentence I have included as a preliminary uh, to negotiation the government was required to rescind all the obnoxious measures. Obnoxious means harmful or you can say detrimental detrimental and obnoxious both of them mean harmful now let us look at that uh, second word vericity now vericity means truthfulness or you can say conformity to facts accuracy precision truthfulness okay truthfulness truth accuracy accurateness correctness faithfulness and uh, preciseness and exactness vericity means truthfulness and uh, the corresponding antonym for this word will be falsehood, lying, inaccuracy, deceit means to cheat someone or to bluff someone. Okay. And uh, the noun form of this word will be deception. Deception, very common word. And uh, one more word is coming to my mind that is swindle. S-W-I-N-D-L-E. Swindle also means to bluff someone. And hypothesis means imagination. Now let us look at the example sentences. For this word, the witness previous criminal record brings into question his veracity. His veracity may be doubtful. The report of doubtful veracity, a report of doubtful veracity means this is not a report that is real, that is genuine. It may be a fake or uh, you can say in genuine uh, report. So veracity means truthfulness or accuracy or uh, something that is confirming to facts that is called veracity okay now uh, let us look at the next uh, high frequency word 
Frisking means to examine something, to or to inspect uh, someone. Okay, just uh, look at the meaning of a police officer or other officials. Uh, pass the hands over someone in a search for hidden weapons, drugs, or other items. Okay. And uh, the second meaning for this word is skipping or playing around, you can say. Okay, search, body search, check, inspect, or examine. These are the corresponding synonyms for this word. And uh, for this word, skip, the synonyms are frolic, gamble, and scamper. And the antonym for this skip, for this skip is walk and trudge. Okay, so now let us look at the example sentences uh, for this word. He raised his arms to permit the officer to frisk him. I was frisked at US immigration counter. I was searched okay, at the US immigration counter. Frisking to examine someone or to inspect someone. Very important word. Now let us look at the next word. Culpable. If somebody is culpable, he is blamable. Or you can say he is deserving blame. To blame, guilty, at fault in the wrong blameable blameworthy or censorable censor means to criticize someone this is also a very common word c e n s u r a b l e censorable reproachable reprovable so many words i have included uh, just to strengthen your performance or strengthen your preparation uh, before the exam now the corresponding antonym for this words uh, is for this word are innocent blameless and right <clears throat> now let us look at the example sentence for this word mercy killings are less culpable than ordinary murders caldaria had pleaded guilty to two counts of culpable driving culpable driving means wrong driving uh, the driving that you are not supposed to do the way you are driving is wrong okay a 34 year old man will appear in court tomorrow charged with culpable driving he was he was driving uh, that uh, that was uh, that was against the laws you can say okay so he may not be uh, obeying the traffic rules and other laws so culpable means a blameable person the person who has been accused for something uh, now let us look at the next word and uh, that is palpable palpable is used for something that is tangible that is detectable that is concrete okay concrete is a good word that is that can uh, you can see and touch <clears throat> and uh, the next word is substantial substantial part of something means the major part of something the main part of something perceptible that you can perceive or see visible noticeable discernible observable and recognizable so these are the corresponding synonym for palpable is anything that you can touch that is tangible or that is concrete or solid okay uh, now the antonym for this word is ambiguous concealed hidden and something that is not distinct or indistinct you can say uh, the corresponding synonym uh, corresponding sentence for this word are Marcus Westbury there is a palpable sense of decline decay and even a little despair in Europe palpable bump at the bridge of the nose this is the medicine uh, medical related sentence palpable bump at the bridge of the nose now let us look at the next sentence appelling appelling means very horrifying if you are appelled it means you are shocked okay so appelling uh, imply uh, two three words like it it could be horrifying it could be terrible it could be very uh, very bad it could be awful or it could be shocking okay appelling Please do not uh, confuse this word with appealing. Appealing means attractive. Okay. Shocking, horrific, horrifying, horrible, terrible, awful, dreadful, ghastly, hideous. Many words I have included. Abhorrent, abominable means hateful, frightful, horrendous, grisly, nightmarish. Nightmare means uh, bad experiences. Nightmare. So nightmarish heinous and harrowing dire and shameful so many words i have taken for this word appelling appelling means very bad very horrifying very shocking or very awful you can say and uh, antonym for this word are comforting 
delightful and beautiful so these are the antonym now let us look at the example sentence the cat suffered appalling injuries uh, during the attack very horrifying very awful injuries the cat suffered his conduct was appalling during the session very important word appalling and this word has come in many competitive exam multiple time very very important word now these words let me tell you are not only important for the vocabulary part but also for close test part and reading comprehension part please bear in uh, mind that uh, i am taking the holistic approach for the students and if you learn these words uh, it will be very very easy for you to uh, to take care of the english part of any competition appalling now the next word is poignant okay you have to pronounce this word like poignant g is silent in this word poignant poignant is adjective and poignant means evoking a keen sense of sadness or regret uh, suppose you watch a movie and the movie is very poignant and you start you start crying at the sad scenes okay evoking a keen sense of sadness or regret and the second meaning for this word is sharp or pungent in taste or smell so there are two meaning i have uh, mentioned here touching when you start crying by seeing something moving okay sad saddening affecting a uh, pitiful piteous pitiable pathetic pathetic also means miserable very bad sorrowful heart breaking heart rending disturbing distressing painful bitter something that is not sweet is bitter miserable wretched tearful mournful and tear jerking plaintive upsetting and tragic so uh, uh in this list uh many words are very important like miserable mournful mournful is very common word mournful okay and uh you can say pathetic is also very common so poignant is something that uh that you can say make you cry and you become very sad after watching this that particular thing and uh, the antonym for this word are indifferent unaffecting unemotional and unmoving these will be the antonym for this word poignant uh now let us look at the example sentence for this word the father of the murder victim bade a poignant farewell to his son very important sentence so poignant be something very touching very moving very saddening and the second meaning is sharp or pungent in taste or smell now let us look at the next word hold hold means to accumulate something to collect something okay just see just look at the uh meaning part of the sentence i stock or a store of money or valued objects typically one that is secret or carefully guarded so that is the meaning of hold uh when you do holding this is most of the time considered illegal because it leads to price rise in the market store up stock up put by lay by these are the corresponding synonym for this word lay in lay up stow away this is important okay buy up means to buy the whole quantity whole supply catch amass pile up stack up very important words and an antonym for this word will be disperse throw away scatter and squander this word is also very common squander means to waste something to waste money or to waste something okay unwisely scatter throw away and disperse very important words now let us look at the example sentence thousands of antique hoarded by a compulsive collector price rise happens because of holding of essential commodities this is true so hold means to accumulate to collect and to pile up things now let us look at the next word trepidation means nervousness okay a feeling of fear or anxiety about something that may happen so trepidation means to fear apprehension fearfulness anxiety nervousness uneasiness disquiet uh disquiet disquietude this is very important word perturbation i was perturbed before the interview i was anxious i was apprehensive you can say or you can say i was in panic consternation very important word dismay discomposer so all very important word for trepidation okay 
trepidation means a feeling of fearfulness fear of uh, uh, sense of fear and uh, now let us look at the example sentences the man set off in fear and trepidation expression of trepidation was evident on his face before he was about to go for surgery very good sentence so trepidation means a feeling of fear or anxiety or nervousness or you can say apprehensiveness before an event now let us look at the next very important sentence rainy gate is someone who betray okay someone who is not truthful so you can say traitor defector deserter turncoat uh, someone who cheat uh, some organization or his country uh, just uh, let us look at the meaning part a person who desert and betray an organization country and set of principle is called renegade this is adjective this is adjective uh, out of these sentences perfidious is very important and uh, teacher and uh, defector very important word betrayer these three words are very very important defector betrayer and perfidious okay and uh, the example uh, and the antonym for this word are patriot honest honest and truthful now let us look at the example sentence for this word he fell to the ground after being hit by as many as three bullets as men in two cars one of them the renegade major a renegade priest 350 army mutineers led by a renegade colonel okay this is the correct spelling of colonel c o l o n e l please do not get confused with the spelling this is correct spelling of colonel now let us look at the next sentence next word is scanty is scanty when you say you are getting scanty amount it means you are getting insufficient amount all these words are extremely important for examination point of view meager <coughs> sorry scant minimal limited modest restricted sparse paltry and skimpy skimpy means to economize on something now paltry skimpy and uh, meager all these four word have already come in many exams meager scant or paltry and skimpy and the antonym for this word will be abundant sufficient ample and adequate these will be the antonym for this word now let us look at the example sentence they paid whatever they could out of their scanty wages to their families scanty wages means very insufficient amount uh, they used to get they get a very scanty amount as their salary working as a primary teacher quite true primary teacher get a very insufficient amount okay so scanty means very little amount very insufficient amount so this is what the scanty mean now let us look at the next word impudent is someone who is disrespectful impudent impertinent and pert are very common word insolent means disrespectful insolent means disrespectful cheeky very stubborn audacious bold and uh, stubbornness brazen shameless immodest or disrespectful or pert this is also this word has come in banking exam many time pert okay and brazen shameless or uh, insolent this is this has also come insolent uh disrespectful insolent means disrespectful pert means disrespectful brazen disrespectful or shameless uh now the antonym for this word will be humble modest kind and respectful humble modest kind and respectful now let us look at the example sentence for this word with its hump backed body and impudent expression at a strict 15 minute intervals during this first showing in a fairy tale scene that lagged only a small boy pointing an impudent finger very important sentences and you must watch this video from beginning to end and you should try to watch it multiple time so that you can grasp all these words and if you watch it multiple time from beginning till end you will definitely grasp all these words and you will be able to use these words in the examination for your best advantage 
Now let us look at the next word astound. Astound means to amaze, astonish, stagger or surprise is a very common word. Stun, I was stunned or you can say I was petrified. I couldn't say anything. I was petrified. Okay, stupefy, dumb found, very common word and the most important word uh, in this whole series is non plus very important word non plus i was non plus i couldn't speak anything i was speechless because i was stupefy i was completely amazed and calm will be the most appropriate uh, antonym for this word clarify enlighten and explain will also uh, can also be the similar word example sentence for this word are what astounds me is that they never apologized second and third sentences are the magician will astound you with his latest tricks he will amaze you and then they will astound you when three weeks three weeks later very important sentence now let us look at the fourth doughty uh, means somebody who is brave and persistent or you can say fearless uh, fearless don't less this word has come in many exam don't less determined Resolute means very very firm. Indomitable means a relentless person and the person who can, who, can, who can't be suppressed. Uh, and this word is made from trepidation. Intrepid. Intrepid uh, means the person without trepidation. Or you can say fearless. Dismayed, un undaunted, gritty. The person who is having grit. And uh, grit means determination. Okay. Metal means power or mental strength so you can say metal some game is plucky unshrinking unawashed very important word unfaltering unflagging bold and audacious uh, one more word is very important gallant you must have heard about the gallantry award that is that is given for bravery okay gallant courageous heroic the daring and daredevil so many word I have taken here as a synonym and feeble means somebody who is very very weak. So this will be the antonym. Now let us look at the example sentence. The assembly comprised a dozen doughty citizens. He said that his mother was quite doughty by, by nature. Now let us look at this word lugubrious. Uh, lugubrious means somebody who is very sad, very unhappy, very mournful gloomy and uh, doleful melancholy bowful somber despondent this is also a very common word despondent means uh, this word is made from i think despair and despair means uh, pessimism okay forlorn forlorn means sad forlorn sad sorrowful and this is also very important word mirthless because mirth means happiness if you are not having happiness then you are mirthless cheerless joyless and this is also very important word saturnine saturnine grim dismal wretched and dour okay so many word i have included and the antonym for this word lugubrious will be cheerful happy delightful and elated when you are extremely happy you are elated delightful okay uh, now let us look at the example sentence for this word uh, many of Robinson's work adopt the stark style of inscriptions in MacMahon's lugubrious paintings his face looked even more lugubrious than usual very very important sentence I must have taken uh, some 200 plus word in this video tutorial and if you watch this video tutorial from beginning till end and multiple time three four time uh, you will grasp all these words definitely i'm 100 percent sure so you must try to watch it uh, three four time and then only you will be able to grasp all these words now let us come to the revision part uh for your uh, uh, uh for your convenience or you can say for your benefit i have included uh, five parts of revision here okay so you must uh, participate in this revision part doughty means a fearless doughty means a fearless pass 
is something that is that is out of fashion that is old fashion or you can say that is antiquated okay so now let us look at the next word peri means escape the attack or dodge the attack impudent if somebody is impudent uh he is shameless or he, you can say he is pert if somebody is indigent he is very very poor or destitute promulgate means to publicize something publicize promulgate means publicize hyperbole is the exaggeration or you can say overstatement of something exaggeration or overstatement if something went wrong and it was happened inadvertently it means it was happen uh by accident or by mistake it was you can say accidental it was not intentional but accidental you can say revile means uh criticize and render means provide or make something render is a very very common word and one more word is there for rendering something or providing something and that is furnish furnish please furnish all the information so now let us move on to the next part this is part 2 of the revision part fend off fend off means to evade something to escape something and this is very commonly used in the taxation when you do not file your uh, income tax return and do not uh, uh, do not uh, pay money for tax that is fend off pass uh something that is antiquated or out of fashion peri dodge amalgamate means to blend or mix something or a uh, kind of combine something if you hold something you collect that thing and you can say accumulate that thing soporific uh means something that make you sleep opiate poignant if something is poignant it is very very moving or touching trepidation trepidation means fearfulness renegade if something is renegade he is not patriot or he is traitor or you can say he is defector persecute to annoy someone okay to annoy someone means a uh, persecute now let us move on to the part 3 very good revision i am giving you here appalling means horrifying or awful impudent impudent means pert or disrespectful palpable palpable is something that is uh, uh, that is tangible that that you can see amalgamate mix or blend something hold to accumulate something frisk to inspect or examine something poignant uh something very very moving or touching <coughs> culpable <coughs> a person who is accused or blameable is culpable renegade renegade is defector or traitor and persecute means to annoy someone now let us move on to the part fourth veracity veracity what is veracity veracity means truthfulness recent uh means to repeat uh, sorry repeal or cancel something abrogate also means to cancel or annul something lugubrious means uh, uh very very sad mirthless hold uh hold means to collect or accumulate hold supplicate what is this mean supplicate means to request poignant or poignant means uh, very touching uh some word i have taken from my, from my last video tutorial so you must watch my last video tutorial also uh, uh video series 1 part 1 part 2 part 3 you must watch uh, before trying to watch this video tutorial okay so poignant and trepidation means fearfulness renegade what do you mean by renegade defector traitor doughty means uh what is what do you mean by doughty uh doughty means somebody uh, undismayed or fearless 
Now let us look at the next part or last part you can say part 5. Undermine. What do you mean by undermine? Undermine when you weaken something. This is called undermine. This is the opposite of strengthen. Persuade means to to, uh, to coax someone. Okay. To convince someone to do something wrong. Respite means relief. And amalgamate. Uh, we must have a study. Blend. Hold means uh, to accumulate or collect. Futile is something that is uh, that is useless or unproductive. Uh, skimp means to economize on something, to save money on something. Trepidation, fearfulness, renegade, uh, defector or traitor, and larceny means theft. So here I have given you a very good revision and some 200 word I have definitely made you learn. And I am 100% sure you must have liked this video and you must have found this video very, very useful. So if you have found this video useful, 